Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today is part 3 of the ongoing YouTube series where I explain the basic and advanced mechanics in Magic Chess. Today we'll be looking at how to pick the right items in the game of Magic Chess. As mentioned, this is a series and the link to the other videos is in the description, so make sure to check them out when you're done with this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment and share the videos to others who might need it. And as usual, make sure to turn on your subtitles because you will get a lot more if you can use the subtitles. And without further ado, let us begin. What are equipment or items? Items grant heroes bonus stats when equipped. The bonus stats range from physical attack to attack speed to physical or magic defense. In addition to the basic stats, items grant special stats in the form of passive abilities, which range from increasing attack speed indefinitely to starting the rounds with almost full mana. There is also a special group of items called crystals which allow you to transfer synergies. This will be fully expanded upon in the blessings or crystals video. Based on the stats granted, items can be divided into number 1. Physical items which add bonus physical attack or attack speed. Number 2. Magic items which add bonus magic power. Number 3, defense items which add bonus physical or magic defense or max HP. Number 4, function items which include battle spells and crystals. And number 5, commander items which are exclusive to certain commanders. How to obtain items? Over the course of a game, equipment can be obtained through a variety of means. But the most important are the creep defense rounds and the fake boxes. The creep defense rounds. In creep defense rounds, you fight against some creeps from the MOBA. In the first creep defense round, you fight against three minions and you get an item drop when you kill the ballista minion. When you get an item drop, you are given three random items to pick from. In the first CDR, you are given three battle spells to pick from. Note that battle spells can only be gotten from the first CDR. Winning the second CDR gives you an item drop, but this time, you get to pick between 3 physical, magic or defense items. Winning the third CDR gives you 2 item drops. The first one is a normal physical magic defense item drop. The second one, however, is a crystal drop. In a crystal drop, you get to pick between 3 random synergy crystals. Sometimes, or rather majority of the time, one of the crystals is replaced with a mirror device. A function item which allows you to clone a hero. Winning the 4th and subsequent CDRs gives you a single physical magic or defense item drop or two drops. A physical magic defense item drop or a crystal drop. The Fate Boxes Fate Boxes are roulette selection stages where each player gets to pick one item from 11 choices starting from who has the lowest HP. As of the last patch, there are now 8 items in the fate boxes so that every player can get one item from here. The items available in fate boxes include physical, magic or defense items, synergy crystals and a few special items. The first special item is the star 4 blade which reduces the star level of an enemy after 5 basic attacks. The second is the closed step device which grants the wielder 2 random items from the enemy's inventory. And the third is a science crystal which is available starting from the second fate box. Commander skills. Some commander skills such as Eggy's third skill, Fortune, can give you item drops. Some commander skills such as Brown's second skill, Blazing Hammer, and Doobie's first skill, Doobie's Gift, can give you the respective commander exclusive items. Now that explains the different ways you can get items in Magic Chess. Now on to the main event, how do you pick the right item for your heroes? The perfect build in magic chess. Items are divided into physical, magic, defense, function and commander items. Going by this division you would find that you'll put physical items on fighters, marksmen and assassins magic items on mages and supports, and defense items on tanks. This is good. But what happens to function items and battle spells? Now, let me introduce you to a new unofficial concept in magic chess. Item sets. 
Remember that every hero in Magic Chess can equip a maximum of 3 items. If you've ever picked the Cloud Step device, you would notice that you would get 2 items from the enemy and the third slot is occupied by the theft device item itself. This is the basic principle for building sets in Magic Chess. Have you ever used the Synergy Crystal? Veterans will not be confused when they hear terms like Astro 1-1 or Wrestler Cloud. What these mean is that you have a 1-1 equipped with an Astro Power Crystal and a Cloud equipped with a Wrestler Crystal, respectively. This is the second basic principle for building sets in Magic Chess. To put it simply, the perfect build in Magic Chess consists of a Battle Spell or Synergy Crystal and two items. Now the next step is what belongs in those two items. A set basically consists of two or three items with complementary item passes, regardless of whether they are physical, magic or defense items. Let us look at some examples of commonly used sets in Magic Chess. Number 1, the Attack Speed Set. This set uses two items, the Demon Hunter Sword and the Golden Staff, which have a combined base stat of plus 20 attack speed. The main item in this set is the Golden Staff, which has the passive ability, basic attacks increase attack speed indefinitely. Adding the Demon Hunter Sword, which has the passive ability, basic attacks do extra damage based on target's max HP, further increases the DPS of this set. I think we can all agree that equipping this set on Claude would make him unbeatable, especially when you have the Wrestler Crystal equipped. The same can be said about Mia or SMG Beatrix. You can go overkill with the attack speed buff by equipping this set with the Abyss Crystal, but nobody's that wicked, right? Number 2, the Survival Set. This set uses 3 items, the Rose Gold Meteor, Winter Truncheon and Immortality. Now, you will notice that unlike the attack speed set, which has only physical items, the survival set has a physical, a magic, and a defense item, giving them combined base stat bonuses of plus 80 physical attack, plus 250 magic power, plus 60 physical defense, and plus 60 magic defense. Already, you would notice that this set is evenly distributed in terms of base stat bonuses, but that's not even the best part of this set. The Rose Gold Meteor has the passive ability of granting a shield when HP falls below 30%. The Winter Truncheon has the passive ability of freezing the wielder and restoring some HP and mana when HP falls below 25%. And Immortality has the passive ability of resurrecting the wielder after death. All items in this set have passive abilities that can allow a hero to fight for longer, hence the name Survival Set. The best heroes to equip this set on are heroes that have skills which can turn a fight around. The best examples are Gathered Kacha and Ling. Other examples are Wan Wan and Karina as these heroes have skills that make them immune while allowing them to do damage. The one drawback of this set however is that you cannot use crystals or you will not be capitalizing on the full potential. Therefore, the base synergy has to be incredibly strong so that you won't need crystals. However, if you have to use a crystal, then the two most important items are the Winter Truncheon and the Immortality. Number 3, the Tank Set. This set uses two items, Dominance Ice, which has the passive ability of slowing down the attack speed of nearby heroes and increasing the mana region of the wielder when taking damage, and Guardian Helmet, which has the passive ability of regenerating some HP every second giving a total combined stat bonus of plus 4000 HP and plus 30 physical defense. In Magic Chess, HP is what determines whether a hero is tanky or not, as every hero has basically the same physical defense. Well, ranged heroes have smaller defense but they won't be equipped with a tank set anyway. This set is perfect for melee heroes intended to be used as tanks. If you've watched the positioning video, you'll understand exactly what I mean by this. The HP regen plus bonus mana regen allows tank heroes to survive longer and cast their skills more frequently. Equipping this set with the light bond synergy is sure to increase the blood pressure of your enemies as your heroes become even more unkillable. The Magic Burst set. This set uses two items, the Enchanted Talisman which has the passive ability of restoring 75% mana at the start of a round 
and the concentrated energy which has the passive ability of adding plus 60 percent magic lifesteal giving a combined stat bonus of plus 600 magic power and plus 1000 hp as you can probably tell this set is built for mages more specifically for elementalist heroes you are also probably wondering why concentrated energy is here in place of lightning truncheon which has slightly higher damage than the concentrated energy this is because of the magic lifesteal which allows them to sustain a little more a eudora with the concentrated energy will get 100 percent hp every time she casts her skill so yes concentrated energy is preferred over lightning truncheon this set can be combined with the flicker battle spell on heroes like odette Belleric, and gatot kacha to give them the maximum reach for their skills and now a few other sets I will mention in passing. Number 5, Physical Burst Sets. Preferable for gunners with high physical attacks such as Leslie, Shotgun Beatrix or Layla. It consists of the Blade of Despair and the Berserker's Fury. Number 6, the Physical Lifesteal Set. Consists of Hass Claws and Sea Halberd. Allow the hero to lifesteal while reducing the enemy's regen effect. It's perfect for Moscow. Magic DPS set consists of Lightning Truncheon and Glowing Wand, perfect for heroes that do continuous damage, such as Odette, Gord, and Lunox. Some items are not mentioned as part of sets, and this is because they are much preferred as counter items and are almost useless otherwise. These are Blade Armor, good against high physical damage, Monastery of Light Vestments, or just call it the Oracle, good against high magic damage, the Feline Blade turns the enemy with the highest star level into a cat for 5 seconds at the start of a round. The Starfall Bleed reduces the enemy's star level and the Hellcut Curse which silences enemies after their first skill cast. Now you should have an idea of the ideal way of picking items in Magic Chess. Now here are some tips and tricks to help you in a real game. Number 1. Try to get first choice in the Fate Boxes. This way you can pick the best items before anybody else. Number 2. Increase defense round target sets. If not, pick the best items. These are Guardian Helmet, Enchanted Talisman, Winter Truncheon, Immortality, and Dominance Ice. If counter items are available, consider picking them. It's always painful when you're building mage but keep getting physical items. You can pick attack speed items in this case as it will help them gain mana faster. And finally, all else fails, just drop all items on one hero and hope for the best. And with that, we've come to the end of another video in the YouTube series, Basic and Advanced Mechanics in Magic Chess. I hope you enjoyed it and or learned something new. Don't forget to check out the other videos, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.